If we go back to 1 Corinthians 13.4, the study note states, Patience is a quality that Jehovah and Jesus constantly show in their dealings with humans. As imitators of Jesus and Jehovah, Christians are to show patience to others. So if Jehovah and Jesus... So if your friend jumps off a cliff, you're going to jump too? ...are patient with us, it would follow that we imitate their example and be patient with others. Let's start with the greatest example, Jehovah. Think about the patience he's shown in waiting to bring an end to this system. Jehovah has a fixed day and hour when that will take place, and he's patiently waiting until that arrives. He's bound himself to his own timetable. Right. Now, rest assured, Jehovah is well aware of how we feel as his servants. He knows that we wish the end of this system to come as soon as possible, and that we long to see the fulfillment of all his promises, and he longs to fulfill them. But he will not become impatient and act before his appointed time. You said he's the creator of heaven and earth, the source of all life. He could easily have stopped all that, all that blood and all that misery. Why? Why didn't... Why should we appreciate Jehovah's patience in that regard? Please follow along as I read 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 15. Furthermore, consider the patience of our Lord as salvation, just as our beloved brother Paul also wrote you according to the wisdom given him. Isn't that a powerful point? Jehovah's patience is the means for our salvation. Think about the number of people who are learning the truth every year. Even during the pandemic, when we weren't able to engage in our typical house-to-house witnessing, Hallelujah. tens of thousands of individuals still got baptized worldwide. More than millions, thousands. <laughs> Oh, that's nasty. Perhaps some of those included your Bible students, family members, close friends, or maybe even you yourself. No. So what is the point? The opportunity of a lifetime turned out to be not much of a life at all. 